All right, brother. I think we're on. I think we're good. All right. Yes, What's going sir, yes, on, everybody? Sir. What's going on, the boy Metsu? Back on at it again. Shout out to everybody in the chat already. We got active people up in here. Much love to every single one of you. Go ahead and uh, check that. I don't know where I put my. Um... There we go. Perfect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you been, brother? How's the week been? Uh, I'm just a little sad the weekend's over, but hey, you know, what can you do? Absolutely stoked to cover our juicy patch notes. <laughs> yeah, so stoked. <laughs> Listen, he said our juicy patch notes. Oh, you already know. You already know what's coming. That's yeah. why. You, you had the it's juicy disappointment. <laughs> the it's juicy. Really oh my gosh, dude. We'll get right. to it though. I'll hold off. But how you doing, Metsu? I'm doing good, brother. Freaking lots of things happened this week. Uh, I actually took the week off, so I'm just as sad as you are with the weekend being, you know, done. But took that week off from work, and actually, Monzi uh, had a convention to go to uh, this week, and so she went there, and it was very good. She was able to make a profit, made um, like $162 in sales selling uh, her stickers and stuff, and a lot of people who wanted to follow up with her. So. She's, uh, she's been doing well with that. And then additionally, like a bonus note, is that the uh, old actor for Darth Vader wanted to stay in contact with her because we ended up giving him um, the Darth Vader and Yoda sticker that she made. He's like, all right, so how can I stay in contact with you? What? Yeah, so she had a That's very big crazy. success from, from her first con. Shout out to Monzi, bro. Yeah. yeah, so now she's working on a lot more commissions. I already got people wanting to order packs of 40 from her. It was like $200 worth hey, of shit like that, so. I'm in line for that. He's, I'm in line for that. <laughs> nah, um, I checked at the end. I in line. She knows what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's been my week. And, uh, you know, the, the whole My Hero thing, but we're talking about Smash right now. I'm not going to talk about My Hero, so that's for another time. Yeah. But anywho, yeah. <laughs> everybody in chat, everybody uh, uh, over on YouTube, hopefully everybody's doing well. Hopefully your week has been well. As Muscle has said, so we're going to get into these juicy and unfortunate patch notes. <laughs> but first, as we've been doing, is covering the amazing art of this community, yo. We have, we did have 38, but then it was 39, 40 for the one free series. So we have one more to cover than last time. We have 42 to cover, yo. Damn. I'm excited. This is, this is something that, this is something that really makes me happy about this. It's like the happy, the thing that makes me the happiest about this game is every time we come back on this podcast, just seeing how much different art there is. And to think that within a week, 42 different pieces of art has been done. Plus like, dude, it's wild. Yeah, I, and a whole bunch of talent coming in from the woodwork. You can't really go without saying something about it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Nope. So I appreciate you taking a highlight. Let's get into it. I'm ready. Yes, sir. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this pulled up real quick. Let me go ahead and share my screen for you too, so that you can actually see it and indulge in this amazingness. I get dibs. All right, where's my screen at? Where's my screen at? All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, you should be in there, brother. Yeah, bro. This one hit me from a mile away, bro. <laughs> All right. So this one is from Kajas Terajo. Kajas Terajo. Kajas de Tajo. Which oh, Kajas de uh, Kajas de Tajo. There we go. Yeah. So it's like it means boxes of cuts or something. Boxes like of cuts. Yeah, it's like cajas. It means boxes. Cajas. Like, oh, I see it. I see it at the bottom right, like his like little signature. I see. Yeah, yeah. So if I if I if I saw that, I know how to say it. Freaking cajas de tajo. Gotcha, 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 Ooh, gotcha. Bellissimo. No, <laughs> bellissimo. <sick. laughs> so I like this. This reminds me uh, of like chalk, chalk work. I like it. It's very very clean. 
Bro, they really try to mimic a lot of the color composition that shows in the comic and the art mm -hmm. style. If you really look at Jacko, some of the shading and color, like they must have grabbed the palette for off rip because this shit is impeccable. Mm -hmm. I could have told, honestly, if this was in the comics, I wouldn't have been able to tell you that that was somebody else. Because if you look at those comics, a lot of those drawings are a lot looser than this is. And this is clean as fuck. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Dude, this is gorgeous. Now we have Carl with another character concept. This is a really nice freaking Beach Peter, yo. I would rock this. Can we get this in the games? Bro, dude was working on this forever. I remember him showing me how to try to, he was trying to wire out the rest of his proportions so mm -hmm. he could try to figure out the <clears throat> suit. Dude, shout out to Carl. Dude's been at it heavy. Mm-hmm. And something I do like on a touch of this is like the ducky shorts. Imagine this tagged up with Kaiser. Yo! The Kaiser freaking ducky arms. <laughs> Bro, I actually faxed that in. I'm not gonna lie. The shoes on fleek, my boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh man, got their Crocs. <laughs> Yeah, bro, but they like hyphy crocs. They're like library world crocs. Right. You know? <laughs> Big shout to make Carl put out more amazing work. This is gorgeous. I'd play the shit out of this if I played Peter. Now, I want this skin in the game so bad. Look at this Yong Yong, yo. Yong Yong Sai. Yong Yong Sai. Bro. Could you imagine if, if they changed his voice too? Instead of that, <laughs> my man said, oh. yeah. <laughs> He like, oh, yeah, bro, I'm saying, like, yeah, he's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so cool. You know, like a whole like, vibe. Bro, the one thing about Yang Yang that I lack in this game, it's taking him serious on anything. Right. I would kind of take him serious. I'm like, if you cop this Yang Yang skin, you kind of mean business. Yo, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> this is hyphy though. I love the trees. They're still kind of keeping that Japanese tree style like artwork flow to it. And the mm -hmm. uh, flag in the back. I don't know why. I think that shit looks hyphy as fuck. Is it like World of Warcraft insignia or am I geeking? I don't know. I think like, okay, so there's two things. Either A, it's his, like one of his icons or B, it looks like a dragon. Like you see like the arrows, like the wing, the wing, the head of the dragon, then the tail, you feel me? Yeah, no, for sure. I'm just trying to look at every single detail. Maybe I'm missing something, but no, this is hyphy as hell. Who did this again? This is Ekros. Ekros, Or, or Etros. I think it's Ekros. Gorgeous artwork and honestly, big love to the man, uh, Young Young. Not a lot of love being shown around. Yeah, honestly. So if this was in, I would definitely grab it. Yong Yong plus Master Cat with this skin? Yo, this shit would be nasty. That's a dude to watch out, bro. It's clean as hell, though. And so with this one, we've been giving shout outs to like different OCs uh, that people have been creating. And so this one ended up drawing Marina along with their OC. And I definitely liked it a lot. Um, and so I just wanted to give, showcase it pretty much. And apparently they're rivals if they were in the world of Smash Legends. I wonder if Marina has some sort of competition against any other regions of like, cause like I'm imagining she's not like directly with Fiber World. She has like her own, I, I never really looked into her story. I'll be honest with you. She's, uh, I can't remember who she's with, but she's actually a cop. So she that. Had... She got beef with everybody. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe this is like a character we we'll see that's a villain of sorts. Because if she's a cop, then cops and robbers, you dig? I right. love it, dog. And so the balance. This one is made by Vera, and then the next picture is the OC, like fully colored out. And the detail of her is that she's based on the famous Filipino hero Darna. She is a public cop and an investigator of Sinop City. Yo, <laughs> there's background to it too. Yep. Let's get, bro. I don't know why I'm getting Leo vibes from Tekken. Yeah. Like, like yeah. the fit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I can see it. Yeah. yeah, freaking Leo. This is hyphy though. 
they're really investing into these characters and that's one thing i really appreciate some people just look at ocs and like eh. no dude ocs take a lot of thought and i just like people like putting it all into reality shout out to mm -hmm. them this is gorgeous all right Yo! Okay, so next up <laughs> next up we got homegirl as we've all seen that she's just being dressed up in all types of things she's the she, she's the reality character one of the reality few of smash legends gumi she got that like i, I i'm not sure what that outfit's called i've seen it a lot in that um stalker game what's that called oh, it's like a uh, school the, girl outfit yeah freaking uh uh yandere simulator yeah that's uh, the what high it school is. girl outfit yes dude it looks sick and then <clears> i love the 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 freaking kitsune mask yeah like, i just always associate him with ambu from here on like mm -hmm. it's just yep. because i'm a naruto like loser listen guys i'm sorry i'm one of them <laughs> But this is absolutely sick. If you're really taking to brass tactics, everything, dude, the line works insane. The highlights hit me like a freaking backhanded slap. It's gorgeous, dude. Yeah, I like it a lot. Oh, I also noticed the texture too. Like ever since you like you pointed it out with the marina uh last week, like, I've been heavily looking at that. The textures that they use on the drawings. Yes, dude. It, it's like a film. Like I'm not. It's like a grittiness thing, but it really it's gritty. adds. Yes, I don't know yeah. why it it pleases my senses. So this is gorgeous, absolutely insane. Now we have a Minecraft skin. Damn, they put in work. Oh, and also the previous art was made by uh, Maxis, Maxis L. Vacariano. Shout out to Bax. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if I can pronounce that back to you. <laughs> <Shout out there. laughs> and so this Minecraft skin is made by uh, Sulihia. Sulihia? S U L I H I Y A. This is so well done. They absolutely, like, I tried making a Minecraft skin once. I was actually trying to do Kaiser, believe it or not. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it didn't really turn out the greatest. So this is crazy. I can respect the work. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And so next up we have Gender Ben Snow, in which case, personally, I'm not against. I really like it. Like, give me a female snow skin. I think that'd be really dope. And this one is made by uh, Kazuru. Yo. This is how they even put the like the little uh, little choker on it, and to me, I, it makes like a lot more. I don't know mm -hmm. why I just always see the choker thing like with girls and stuff like that. So when I saw it on snow, I'm like, okay, this looks kind of neat. I mm -hmm. dig it, but this makes sense to me a lot more. I don't know why, but I would definitely love to see this. Clean the line work, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> now we have a little cute Marina. Wait. That's Marina? E no, I mean Nui, Nui, Nui. I saw this yeah. shit. <laughs> I was like, Marina, <laughs> it's Nui, it's Nui. <laughs> I was gonna say like, Nui over there in the concert oh in the background, God. I was just like. like <laughs> it's me. <laughs> and, and so this one is made by Kawhi. the best Daisy. Best Daisy, bring out the Kawhi-ness out of like Nui. We've seen actually very different sides of Nui as of late. We saw that angry one that uh, like uh- The shotgun. Yeah, there was a shotgun one too. I'm telling you, we see every single range of emotions yeah. on Nui <laughs> and we needed a cutesy one. So big shout out to Daisy. This looks cute as hell. What's funny <laughs> is that this is a cutesy one on like the dark costume though. Yeah. <laughs> And now we finally got Kaiser Blushy. Mm, they listened. I'm, they listened. <laughs> I'm rubbing my hands right now. Look at it. Just uh, <laughs> ended up listening and got a Kaiser Blushy. Bro, the artists of SL are too, too kind. Too kind. We said we wanted a Kaiser Blushy and they did a Kaiser Blushy. See, are you happy? This was literally dedicated to you, bro. I am shamelessly biased. This is gorgeous. <laughs> I absolutely fucking love it and i would purchase this i don't buy stuff stuff guys you guys see my helmets in the background look we get a back shot like come on 
This is freaking gorgeous, high I freaking love you, dude. Shout out to oh Hannah. My gosh, it's so cute. It even has the rings on it. They got the leg size right on fleek. We got the and they got the right leg size right. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I'm all oh. over this. Absolutely oh goodness, adore sir. it. I can't say good enough things about it, and I don't care from buys. I love it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this is also made by Hannah. Hannah really has a good understanding of like lucid drawing. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Um, something that like a lot of artists struggle is if you ever try to draw something without looking at it, you'll finally do some lucid drawing. This to me is what lucid drawing should look like. This is gorgeous. I also love like the little like the pedal like you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man yeah so i really like this because we got our wolfgang i love how wolfgang is freaking built and drawn you got red and ravi freaking teasing her and whatnot and then you see witch queen like oh my gosh this is so chaotic and you got uh flair messing around with then young 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 is like bro what are you trying to do to me <laughs> this is how you breathe fire and he's right just like, huh? <laughs> Open wide, like, bro. What? <laughs> I put a torch in my mouth. <laughs> I'm saying, yo, this oh is great. Though. I love all the interactions going on. It's just a really cool um, <clears throat> artwork because it's busy enough that you can find different things. With famous yeah, it's like where's Waldo? Exactly. And having fun seeing the different characters and interactions. Absolutely. They listen. They listen. They listen. They listened. Ali Woo. Bro, how are our artists slipped on like this, bro? I'm saying, bro. Freaking Dude. Alyssa. Your your art is spectacular. I like, look at this. They actually colored it and made it so dang adorable. Phenomenal. I love it. And I respect the watermark, cause like not gonna lie guys if you ever take somebody else's artwork or something like that mm. please give credit where credit's due a lot of people get art going to like excessively and they put it several amounts of time when it comes down to making artwork so show appreciation and at least ask for your permission stuff like that this is why we must do these sort of things so i completely understand the watermark i do it all the time myself so big shout out to Ali. <laughs> Wow, here, too. Oh my gosh, it's so good because, yeah, someone could definitely like try to print these out, use them as a sticker, but no, Ali Wu all over that signature oh. and everything. As they should, as they should. <laughs> no. Bro, the rampart, the rampart fan art is just insane. I absolutely love Pop it, and bro. it's a pixel one. Yes, dude. dude. These pixel artics coming out the woodwork. I'm absolutely loving it. And it's animated, bro. He's idol dancing. This is adorable. Because we were just talking about uh, last week, like Smash Legends on like Game Boy or whatever the case <laughs> may be. You feel me? Yeah. This is cute as fuck. And this Man, is man. made by Deep Rezo side. Deep Rezo side is a Big, big Ramper fan. Big shout outs to them putting on more Ramper artwork because uh, up until that point, I didn't really see a lot of Ramper artwork and all of a sudden it's like kind of coming up. So I'm right. not opposed to this. <laughs> and I believe the next two is made by them as well. Yep. Oh, look at this oh. little cutie. I ain't learned how to shoot yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is cute as hell. And then when it gets older, bro, do you see this filter? What is this anime? And let me watch it, yo. <laughs> Facts. I also <clears throat> love the lines to add the grittiness to it. That's yes, stuff, like, dude. Really accentuates a lot of like the curvature and stuff like that. So it really good stuff. And so it's it, so it is supposed to be like a young versus like a grown piece, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Started from the bottom. Now we're here, bro. Man, that mess is sick, dude. Custom suit! Respect the man! And so this is just a funny picture. I very much so enjoyed. In which case also showcases uh, their OC here. 
So we got, is everything all right? I just saw Robin running and jumping out of a window. I brought him a plant. It's okay, sweetheart. I was just taking care of some business. So Octavia being the stern mama figure she is, putting the beat down on the OC and trying to beat down Robin too. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. I love the blank expression on Snow's face. He's like, I brought him a plant. <laughs> right? <laughs> This is gorgeous. Oh shout out God. to uh, who's the artist again? Sallow. Sallow. Big shout out to the homie Sallow. This is gorgeous. Yo. Is that made Kurenai? Yes, it is made Kurenai. <laughs> Where is Lessa? I know he's geeking in a corner right now. Jesus, dude. This is awesome. Look at those hands. Bro, I can't stop looking at that hand. How proportionate it is. This sketch is on fleek. And I love the sketchy lines because it, I don't know. To me, this is euphoric. <laughs> and this one is made by Miyuki. Miyuki. That's a cute ass name. I don't know if Miyuki's in the show, <gasps> I just realized. Fun. Look at the freaking plate. It's an energy box in hell. <laughs> and health item nah now, now you got me looking everywhere hold up there's something else i gotta check it out no no no, no. back out i'm trying to see it that oh god <laughs> how did i miss that oh i missed god. it the first time too bro i missed it i just noticed yo yeah that is crazy and it's so well thought out too this is gorgeous Miyuki. if you ever do finish <clears> it up <throat> trust me Mesu's got you, because we'll cover that shit ASAP. Oh, 100%. I'm going to be cleaning people up. Pun this intended. is awesome, though. Sick artwork. So next up, we should have devoted to Kudenai, and I thought this was pretty funny. Another <laughs> <laughs> Kudenai in an apron. But with an apple, with a worm and an apple. <laughs> I like that that's weird. Isn't this the same person that did, like, those emote sketches? Yes. Or yeah, I can recognize monkey. it from the by the uh, art style shout out to keith with the literal like i don't know why i thought of a uh, super monkey ball yep i i <laughs> yeah this is clean <clears throat> it would seem that way smoke yeah look at this Ooh. look at the lighting yo look at the quality huh. red's my weak spot this is gorge damn Insane. <clears throat> She's a classy lady, respect her. I'm Damn. saying. Bro, imagine they had a skin where they change her fans like that. Oh, Maybe. yo, that would be nasty. That is attention to detail right there. Look, she got the Sakura tree branch. Oh my God. Do not sleep on this Gumi, bro. This is a Gumi main right here. Kurosaki, beautiful artwork. Absolutely love this. And the perspective too on the umbrella. Oh, um, and we got a heart in the background too. You peep, you peep. Yeah. It's like a plane like was going behind yeah. her. They did a... <laughs> and bro, Yo, what's, this is what's crazy is that even though this is extremely beautiful, Kurozaki followed up with this piece, yo. Damn, so she went from being like the Japanese outfit. I don't know. Was that like a corset and everything? Damn! Like, I don't know what they did with their art, but I like they just condensed it and made it even crazier, yo. Style bender. You feel me? This is crazy. Damn, bro. Their tradition is insane, too. In that hand again. I don't know what it is. Guys, as an artist, I can appreciate a good hand when I see one. Yes. So. I don't draw anymore, but hands are extremely hard. That's why you always put them in pockets. Yeah. <laughs> or behind the back. Maybe. Or behind the back. Like, or, or like those like anime pictures where they're like this and then they can just do the peace sign. It's like really yep. simplified. Yep. 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 <laughs> yeah, no, this is really well done. Big shout out to Kurosaki. And I love this one. Look at, look at little baby brother Snow. Oh my god. And then god. paying homage to the actual outfit that he has. Which queen thinking, hmm, he may look good in this. Oh my god, this is so well thought out. Yes, please. I need to know who made this as well. 
I'm getting the name again because unfortunately, so I type up all the names in like each of their browsers, but because I was working on so much stuff in the background, all of the URLs went back to normal. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so as we're chatting, I'm uh, scrolling through and getting everybody's name as well. Dude, I agree. So listen, I, no offense. I mean, the art is gorgeous, but my personal feelings do think <clears throat> that snow also looks perfectly puntable. <laughs> and so this one is made by Ling Feng. Ling Feng. Jeez, this is really well done too. I'm not gonna lie. Again, another character that or sorry, another character art that really adapts to where it almost seems like it originates from like the shading, the color, the layout. Like it's just so well done. Holy crap. I'm jealous of this art stuff. <laughs> A very nice piece from Ling. And we have a follow-up. Who this? Let me peep, let me peep, let me peep. Scroll, 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 scroll. Because I also organized them. <laughs> scroll, 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 scroll. So much art. <laughs> this one is Kurozaki. Kurozaki, welcome back. Jeez, man. Their art style kind of has like a really wide range, if you haven't noticed. Because even if we look back at the Gumi one, there is some resemblance <clears throat> to the one with like the, the Japanese style, like kimono and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But it still strays away a little bit from Is this an OC I'm imagining? I don't believe so. Like, I want to say that this is snow. I'd like to say oh. that as snow. I think that would be sick. Okay, okay. And okay, that's okay, why okay, I put okay. them back to back because even though they're two different artists, we see the yellow eyes here and then the yellow eyes here. The only reason why I mention this is because the hair color is vastly different. So like that's where I was like kind of like going. Yeah, but think about me. think about the, the dark snow skin, like the evil snow skin. Okay, okay. Never mind. I'm bringing myself back now. I see where you're getting at. Mm-hmm. So I would like to believe that this would be an alternate snow of sorts. And following up with this was this one. Oh, like, dog. Snap. If this was a snow skin, best believe I'm you. And then give him this as the MVP screen. I'm sorry. I'm going back to playing snow. Oh, damn, bro. Yeah, that's what happens when you three man skill a team with lightning aggro, dude. It's mm -hmm. showtime. <laughs> All gone. <laughs> no, my, my, oh my this is gosh. crazy though. I absolutely love it. Also the music notes too. I don't know mm -hmm. why. It just fits the whole schematic. This is gorge. Like just imagine this as the MVP screen. Thank you for attending my show. Like yo, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this is cool. All right, and we are back. Here, here. All hey, right. Yo. Now we got some Ali. Some nice Ali art from Lin Feng. I definitely like the <clears> fact <throat> that everything is black and like gray shades of gray with that accent on the eyes because it really brings it back towards it. <clears throat> Another user that is really good at drawing hands. Jeez, I need to set yes. my hand game up. Whoa, Damn. whoa, whoa. I'm talking as okay. What <laughs> uh, uh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yo, yes. yo, oh! I know that's how you feel about Ali, buddy. Thought like you were a muscle guy. Oh my goodness! Zero comment. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Hey yo, y'all pause! <laughs> y'all know what I meant! Right, 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 right. I know what you meant. Alright, so next, Lin Fang, this was this was really good. <laughs> oh yo, it's that OC. Yo, it's the OC. Also by Lin Fang. Not gonna say anything about the previous comment because you guys already know what I'm about to compliment. Look at but... the attention of hand detail. These hands are very nice. It would be great for artists to increase their skill in being able to draw such 
spectacular hands. See? See? You can say it with those human sons. <laughs> you know how you literally thought out every single word and you were ready to paraphrase on the dime. You were pacing yourself. God damn it. I was just speaking from the heart. I was it. Oh my goodness. Contextual purposes, all intents. God damn, but this is really well done. Again, really kind of bringing this OC to life with all these different scenarios. I also love the interaction, even though we can't see who's there. It definitely looks absolutely gorgeous. All right. Yo! Bro, this character looks okay. so nice. And I love the freaking like the appreciation that the community gives her even though we don't see her in the game absolutely but that's how fans work <clears throat> you know what i'm saying they appreciate everything even though it is a background character or these kind of things this is awesome the fact that they're bringing him to the front with the rest of the cast um i don't know why this character keeps reminding me of that one genie game it's like something genie it's uh, uh yeah, Shantae. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I get heavy vibes from it. So I absolutely love that. So I am a fan. Marzana. Yeah, Marzana. I I didn't catch up with the comics, but I do really like Marzana from what I've seen. And this is by uh Doki Mov. Doki Mov. Big shout out <clears throat> again, bringing out Marzana. From the and I, woodwork. And I believe that Doki was also the one that like last week we saw the uh the Ali art. Like with the scarf on his face as well. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. They have like the face covering thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember. Mm hmm Really good stuff coming from them. Yo. And we have a Yo. Victor sketch. And I think that what what I liked about this was it seems like it's Victor before he started going like fully crazy. He's like when he's on that brink of yeah. going crazy like he's still sane but you see that smirk in his face and those sharp eyes that he, he's up to some devious stuff but he has first a full day of work yet. versus like <laughs> a year into the job and then you see the the lightning victor picture nice. with Talia. <laughs> and this one's made by neko chan neko <clears throat> chan and Damn, this is Robin. female <laughs> Damn, Rob. <laughs> that girl thick. That's a thick ass girl. Bye -bye. <laughs> What's up, Robin? How you doing? Nah. The only I see you, I see you tired, bro. <laughs> the only time we'll ever like Robin, bro. And this is also made by Neko Chan. Yeah. Oh, this is cute as hell. I mean, like, I actually this is I think the first gender man Robin I've seen. Same, That's same, funny. come to think of it, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, <clears throat> big shout out to them. I still see those tired eyes, and I can definitely tell the outfit resemblance. Now, mm. granted, though, I don't remember his pictorials. <laughs> right. I'm measuring up to hard, <laughs> but we'll take it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, amazing stuff. Amazing, amazing stuff, Nekotan. Absolutely. Is... And so, we actually did see, uh, like... A familiar sketch to this in, in the art book remember using the detective skin for Nui Robin and Alice that's right yes oh so this is like a prelim kind of this was no no this is like a follow-up like this is like a new sketch that they did but I was saying that it's in that same you know yeah the, I guess the composition style. Yeah. Kind of yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I absolutely see it. I love it because if you really think about it, it kind of looks like a comic book cover, even with like the dimensions. Yes, yes. It. Oh, I absolutely vibe with it. This is awesome. And this one, made by. <gasps> Where was it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's also Neko Chan, but I don't want to give the wrong credit. No, I absolutely understand. But I want to say it is. Let me see. Mm, 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 m
Yo, shout out to Nanko Chan. And to the fact that uh, we're actually starting to pick up on people's artwork, this is actually kind of nice because it almost mm -hmm. feels like passing neighbors. You know, yep. you're like, we're like, yeah, bro, get to see ya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shout out to Nanko Chan. Amazing artwork as always. And so this one is actually just a reference reference image. Um, that way we know like what the reference is once we actually see the art itself uh, from Art Nika. And so this is from the comic strip. Uh, the smash tune of uh, Parfait being angry, or yep, angie yep, yep. as people say, and this is her as her like adult form, or unmelted form rather, because she's still an adult but unmelted here. Yeah, <clears throat> dude, why can't we like? I don't know. I really wish the game would kind of <clears throat> implement more as to her like, you know, full grown form. Yes, or, dude. Cause uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But the tiny characters just like don't appeal to me as much. So I was really hoping we'd get like a big freaking parfait at some point. That yeah, this is awesome. Absolutely love like, it. Imagine I'm parfait it. being as huge as damn uh uh Aoi? what's her name? Yeah, Aoi. Yeah. Oh being my as he's god. He's an Aoi dude. with her scythe, yo. That's what I'm seeing. Imagine her with a big ass scythe, <clears throat> bro. She won't be as kawaii anymore, which I know some people find it as a detriment, but to me. That would increase your badassery tenfold. Just make it a skin. Like, these are skin ideas, yo. I'm saying, bro, and you don't really have to do anything. All you really, the, the, the weapon movement's all that really matters. You just have to mm -hmm. put a character model to marriage. Yep. So, so good job, all right, Nika. What? Yes, sir. I love this yo! so much, dude. <laughs> Let's see, trying to get, trying to find, 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 find. Oh, found it. All right, so this was made by Solo. And I love the OCs that people are creating. I can see these two in library world, man. I'm getting like a weird, different, like, Lauren type relationship. Do you see what I'm getting at? Yeah. Like a toy soldier. Yes, dude. But like instead of like Lauren being a all happy, Lauren, and giddy, Vex. yeah, she looks like she's gonna murder someone or yeah, accidentally. It's like, like like Goldie, bro. Yeah, she gives like heavy Goldie like kind of fucking look. Oh gosh, dude, this is awesome. It gives me kind of chills in a good way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to Solo. And I believe that this one is also made by Solo as well. Yes, yes it oh, is. Oh, this and, is cute as fuck. Uh, they ended up drawing the OC that uh, RC Geek made. Damn, dude. Oh. Uh, did you ever play the old Brave Fence from Musashi? No. Um, while but you, this, like... But this reminds me of Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the people in the game are kind of like that. But if you look at, um, I don't know why, I'm just getting heavy vibes from it. I used to play this game when I was a little child, and uh, I'll find an image soon enough. <clears throat> so I won't stop you from doing whatever is uh, going on next. I'll find an image, and then I'll show it to you, because I don't want to interrupt anything. Or hold right, up. Right, right. All right, so shout out to Salo. I do like this OC a whole lot. And I do like the fact that a lot of people in the community are just making a whole bunch of OCs. Yes. Now, look at this, bro. All right, let me go ahead and... Yo! That's crazy! Yo, who's like the dude next to Vic? Damn! This is another OC. His name is Murasolt. Murasolt. And this is a uh, licensed paper bags OC that Solo drew. Damn, bro. That is crazy. I love that. <gasps> Do you know what I just thought of? It's like a Frankenstein monster. I don't know. Well, go ahead. Bro, imagine if we're playing duo touchdown and these were the type of intros that we got or MVP screens. Oh, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> That'd be absolutely insane, man. Like I can all I can just hear Victor's freaking laugh right now. <laughs> like, dude. Oh my gosh. That is so sick. 
that is fucking awesome. I love it because it, it gives you like a get him kind of freaking right. thing. And you're like, damn, and he's gonna buff him with his freaking finger, my bob, and I'm just gonna go, ah, dude. I don't I mean, know. I'm just this saying, as dope. you wish. Like, yo, <laughs> for real, for real, for real, for real. That's Imagine my man bad. freaking squaring up with Kaiser, yo. Oh my gosh. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm always Lord. down for hey. Lord have mercy, bro. Kaiser and Molly? My man better take them on both, yo. Look at these arms. I know. I'm not going to lie. We do be in need of a big-ass character. Yeah, Aoi came out, but, like, I'm saying, like, monster. Like, like, you know? Bro. I need something bigger. That point just got bigger. We need a bigger <laughs> freaking character. You feel me? Oh, my gosh. Uh, easy, Smug. Molly ain't wins that, no problem. And this is really nice. Uh, new ER from Serial. Yo, that is cute. She, she's embracing the sun. <laughs> Yo, I see it. Oh my god. You gosh. see it? <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is awesome though. I love it because this this art has movement. You feel me? Like the rain itself. I always feel like pieces with movement always are more entertaining to look at. Mm -hmm. This is really well done. Absolutely. It's like nice Beautiful. paint work. Oh, very nice paint work. So good job, Terry. It was really nice. Then we got Godlike Stevie, yo. Bro. Tell me I this shit does not go hard on some graffiti type shit. You see all the monkeys in the background and you got your boy making his freaking his pole arm mad small and just twirling that shit around, yo. Bro, listen. And look, and look at his insignia on his shoe. Nah. Come on, yo. The drip yo. is insane. Like, this is like, I don't know. Street Fighter 6, if you guys seen it, it's got the spray cans. It's yes. Got the freaking, like, I'm getting these like freaking DJ, i don't know why i can hear like a dj track in the background kind right of thing. the vibes are immaculate everything got put into thought the fit is on fleek bro i known the, the fact that he's flipping around his freaking staff between his fingers like a goddamn like weighted pen bro is ready to stream like irl streaming or some shit bro i've known steve for, for this long and i knew he was a graphic artist but when my man's came out the woodwork with this Oh my goodness, where's the comic book cover? Oh, jeez. Yeah, dude, I don't know what Stevie was on, but Stevie killed that shit, yo. I saw this and I was like, bro, what? This is amazing. Imagine booting up SL and seeing art like this, yo. I'm saying, bro. Oh, you know what? I'm sure, I'm sure that we'd get a lot more downloads too. If you saw this in like the Smash Legends, like like graffiti style freaking logo behind him, like yeah. top right, dog, yeah. dog. I'm sure we get more people. And then go that Street Fighter Six crew that are like, like freaking like the disc scratch and like just show like a bunch of gameplays. Yo, oh my gosh. Yes, bro. All right. So next, Halloween is right around the corner. And uh, we have some some spicy, <laughs> some spicy art from the community. <laughs> we have some spicy art. Um, we've known that that Dark Cindy has a big following, oh, and yeah. just a big fair warning to everyone: we have Halloween spicy art. Oh damn, Morgan! <laughs> no, no, we haven't seen Morgan yet. Oh shit! I mean, I'm seeing the fit right here, and I'm getting heavy Morgan vibes. You're you're bro. get you're getting heavy Morgan vibes, but it's not Morgan. Trust. We're going to see Morgan though. Oh damn! Okay. So we got Dark Cindy up in here. Lord have mercy. And this person's a Dark Stalkers fan. You can tell. No, 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 no. Let me tell you, because remember, remember last week how I was getting spoiled, showing me Cindy artwork. Yes, sir. And Noe artwork. <laughs> yeah. So, big shout outs to Ned, Ned Garel, or Ned Girl. Amazing art piece. And then we have Yume coming up. Yo. Yo. Yeah. 
combine Nui with Morgan? Are you kidding me? That's y'all the amount of top level art this week, bro, is <clears throat> just off the charts. This is straight up from a fucking goddamn comic book goddamn video game like in-game cover i don't even bro dude, this, this is, is this is awful. like a video game uh damn illustration book fucking yeah uh, uh, dark stalkers x smash legends comic book manga book you feel me like the cover of this shit come on yo bro i have street fighter art book covers and this is up to par this is crazy no, dude, the shading's phenomenal. The art, the, literally the freaking color blending, the way that the perspective is all still proportionate. The hands are bigger because they're closer to you mm -hmm. as everything else descends <clears throat> downwards. The perspective is phenomenal. The lighting is on point. The colors, I just can't get over it. I can't say anything like bad about it ever, bro. Bro, this and is then the amazing. <laughs> They updated this picture and gave her a freaking love mole too. Like, what? like right there, but it's not in this picture. Oh, dude. It's Damn. in the other picture, but goodness, they're, they're going crazy. Now I saw the art today. And so I went ahead and threw it in as well uh, for okay. us to look over. Oh, and right. I do have one more to uh, show as well, or two more rather. But this one is made by Dose. Um, Dose Delete, in which case we did see their artwork uh, last week as well. But they're OC. This is on some pure. Actually, no, they are the same one that made the Skullgirl shit. I'm sure because yes, look at the, look at this work. Look at this work. I'm sure that they are the same one that made the Nui. But I Nui with shotgun. Skullgirls plus Bedman from fucking uh, yeah, XR. Yes. Yo. And then the fucking Reaper from Overwatch, like, portion at the top. This is sick, bro. This person's artwork is amazing. Dog. Dude. The and we have five changed. pictures to go over, dude. Nah, that's crazy. That is crazy, bro. Yo! Look at this, yo! And they have the kind of little bro, the double sickles with the chain, bro. Come on, dude. Nah, uh, this is, this is far out, dude. Holy shit, I'm a fan. Bro. That's crazy. Absolutely beautiful, dude. Who did this again? Oh, and they uh, have dose. Dude, they have the whole move list. They don't, yo, bro. Come on, dude. SL devs, y'all running out of ideas? Hit or some. Come on. Honestly, God dude. damn, bro. I'm in love with this. It feels very gory, like Halloween compared to what we're used to, which honestly, yes. we need some darkness mm -hmm. to balance out a lot of the light nature of the game. Like, oh man, I feel like something on this level of evil. Because, like, if we look at. Witch Queen is the pinnacle of evil. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like she's cute. She, like she kind of got that mommy vibes. But we need right. that like fear factor. Right. I don't know. I feel like this would bring in that like. I don't, I don't know. even have it missed, yo. The wind up on hit. You leap to them and hit them, and then miss. It just curls back towards them. Then the aerial. You throw it down, and yeah. ends up slashing through them connects with the terrain yeah this is crazy this is absolutely oh so crazy. on hit wait so on hit does it lead like to an air jungle or some shit because like this is mid height and they clearly show this but then oh, okay. missed you pull yourself to it oh my gosh okay yeah touch of death oh, what that's crazy so it's like a grapple so yeah sort of but as a wind up, so you yeah, you're gonna time it. Oh man, this is absolutely. And they made the icons too, dude. Yeah, again. Oh, and I... you see the needle coming out of the hand, like the needle stabs through the hand, and you see it right here. Oh. So it's clawing them with the claw and the needle. Yeah, this is so thought out. Holy shit! This person has a vision, and they really wanted to paint that. That's crazy. Shout out to those. And we're oh not done God. yet, yo. Dude. 
Yeah, see? Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Okay. So it's like an omen child kind of thing. I don't know. This is sick. <laughs> no, this is really well done. I love the concept work. It almost looks like they were trying to, like, figure out some stuff here. There's, like, a couple, like, rearrangements face. Like, mm -hmm. I, yeah. So that that's cool. It was fucked. Yeah, that, that's insane. So we got two more. Uh, one from uh, Devin SML. So going back to some like little cutesy art. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of like like if freaking Smash Legends had like a or a Pop Chopper had like a Smash Legends collaboration. Yeah, like I don't know why it gives me like <clears throat> very heavy role based like um, RPG uh, views. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. So weapons are like designatedly colored to match like whatever class I think they're supposed to represent. It almost looks like this is awesome though. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is that as we were just talking about Daki, Daki ends up blessing us. Look at it. Damn. Already getting some color, bro. This whip is. Oh, bro. Nah, that's crazy. Bro's put in so much work, Doki Mav, bro. This is awesome. They they really love Marzana. Holy macaroni, dude! Sick, Fre dude. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for this to be done, dude. I'm saying, bro. Goodness gracious, absolutely. Insane. All right, this is gorgeous. Now we're gonna come back over to the cameras. And where is my boy? There we go. Huh. There he is. Nice. So, whew, another hour of art that we've gone through. Shout out to all of the artists. Thank you so much for continuing to support our game. And I hope you all are having a great time with creating such art pieces because we love we love seeing it. We love giving you guys love and showing it off to the world for everyone else to see, for anyone that may not be in the official server and that is, you know, just enjoying here on Twitch or even on YouTube. So, man. Absolutely. Guys, so just be known, even though our developers do have a lack of appreciation for certain things, we here like to put a light on the people that are putting in work and trying to keep this community alive through the artwork side of the community. And we appreciate every single one of you guys are absolute gems. Please know that you are appreciated. 150%. So now, brother, we got through all of the art. Now it is time for the amazing update that we got. The amazing patch. As I said last time, I'm not going to say anything. We're just here to read. Not going to say anything. I'm saying something now. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying something now. I'm like, stop capping. Like, I'm saying something now. I'm saying something <laughs> now, man. So here we are with the 1024 update, right? We have Catch That Star. I'm not even going to go over this shit. Like, you, this is the type of vibes that I'm on. I'm not reading this shit. So no, we have, wait, we're we not have, talking about the, okay. bro, we have another event. Where it's the same shit that we've had with Brick, that we've had with Witch Queen, that we've had with Kudanai, that we've had with Zepeda. It's the... It's the scheme that they have that, all right, the good side of it is that you get to log in, you get all these special points, you get to do all these missions that are tedious as hell, but you can get through them as you continually play the game over time and then you can get some free rewards. However, the skin that you want, you're not going to be able to get with the points because you're going to have to drop, I think, whatever, like $10, $15 or whatever the case may be because you don't get enough points for the skin. So that's all that this shit is, unless they changed it. To where they give you more points in order to actually get at least one of the skins and then have you purchase the second skin like if you get at least the base blue young young skin and then you have to pay for the orange skin that's fine whatever but i'm tired of it so do you yo 20 bucks smart convert that it was 20 bucks so okay but this is the first skin i can sit there and be like damn that's kind of nice like i'm sorry bros i know y'all really? like i i don't know Yon Yon, literally, that's one thing that we don't really have in the game when it comes down to skins is a pop. This, to me, pops like crazy. I don't know. Maybe it's, like, I don't know what it is about it. I like the video game feely of it. It looks kind of like, I, I don't know how to describe it. With all the stars and all these things around it, it looks yeah, kind of cute eyes. to me. 
Yeah, like, I, I don't know. I, I rock with it. I wouldn't buy it. I'm not spending money for that. I don't play Yong Yong like that. And I don't know very many Yong Yong advocates. The only one I really truly know was Uno, and he's long gone with Yong Yong. <laughs> but that's the only thing I really want to say. I don't know. I like this is one of the first skins for Yong Yong that I actually appreciate. <laughs> well, the good thing out of all this is that you got a good reaction out of muscle so <laughs> you, you don't you don't get a good reaction out of a whole lot of things so it brought it brought a good reaction out of that the only thing that i care for is this new profile picture that i'm not going to use but it's really nice bro how do you guys are like this that's bro <laughs> facts facts well you know what for the con for, for the content and since you know you you did mission we'll, we'll read over it. we'll read over it. so changes and improvements catch that star collect star es essences to earn young young's new skin event limited icon and frame. So how to participate, press the star essence uh, icon on the left side of your lobby screen, collect star essences and exchange them for items from the event pop-up, get additional rewards according to the total number of star essences you've collected. Star essences can be obtained through the following methods. Uh, as we see that you can log in for the Galactic Conquest uh, records, then the Galactic Conquest records, logging in every day, earns you uh, star essences. You can acquire an event limited profile icon by logging in for all 21 days, uh, which is like the very last one. It looks like, you know, it looks it looks pretty nice. It looks okay. pretty crispy. It's just a star. Yeah, it's just a star. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as we continue on, complete the quest. <laughs> Conquest, catch the stars. Complete the quest to earn star essences. New event quests will be released every week, in which case we have Smash 100 times. Smash 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. Yada, 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 yada. We're not getting no new mode to where we're all floating up in space or, uh, or a shadow patch to where we get to play on Zepeta spaceship right and then we're all just playing dom regularly and then some random event pops up you see the caution sign and everyone's like bro what the fuck the timer just completely evaporates and then your screen starts flashing red all six players are like yo what do we do the point isn't being capped the game is saying caution and then the screen freaking explodes everyone's falling through the sky and then it's some crazy mini game that all six players has to play together and then you have to fight some boss and it's like bro what the hell is going on because you never knew that they actually updated this in the mode and it's some crazy ass super fun galactic young young super special fucking event that's going on and you got young young popping up in the dialogue talking to you like what the hell we got young young dialogue talking to us you gotta read it know the instructions and then all six players that was just fighting each other has to work together to fight the galactic boss nothing like that is happening <laughs> Yo, my man's straight up trying to toss him a bone. He trying to say like do a secret event within a, a Dominion battle. I mean, it'd be cool if it was like a rare occurrence that could happen within like that. Shit would be like, awesome. Yeah. Also, go. What's going on, brother? Yo, Anil Haseyo, my brother. Go in the chat. What's going on, brother? So, as we continue on, uh, purchase package at the Dragon Bank Galaxy Branch Shop, in which case we see all the prices here. Uh, there are two ways of acquiring event rewards. Yong Yong Treasure Chest Exchange. Exchange star essences for items. Each item has a limited number of purchases. Items prices are as follows. Hmm. Excuse me. So we have all of the uh, items here, in which case, as you log in every day, as you are doing the missions, then you can exchange them for the item boxes, in which case you're going to be able to get rewards for Yong Yong, Wukong, Maya, uh, Gumi, Victor, uh, Lauren and Vex, Peter, and then you have your one time purchase of your enchantment gem. And then you also have like the uh, enchantment stones. You can get a lot of gold. You can also get the uh, like the MVP boost. And then we can come down here and see that the Yong Yong is for 5,000. And uh, Smug was confirming that you have to pay 20. So you're pretty much going to be like a thousand off. They give you about 4,000 points and you need 1,000 more. So each of these skins are 20 bucks. And that's a yikes. So 15. I'm saying. So uh, 5,000 star essences. Uh, Young Young's mythic skin galactic and so all this is all this list is is telling you what exactly we see in this picture right here So home screen obtain rewards based on the total amount of star essences accumulated Rewards for total acquired star essences are as followed 
And so just like we have our, uh, our trophy road, we do have our event road as well. And so as you collect more stars, you will be getting a whole bunch of free rewards down here as well. And it tells you all of the, uh, all the rewards that you get here. And the bottom is the ad road. So you do have to pay, I think it's like the $8 for the skip ad uh, bonus. That way you are getting your bonuses here and you are getting your bonuses on the trophy road. So notes when exchanging at Yong Yong's treasure chest, uh, exchange the amount of star instances will be deducted, but the accumulated amount will not. And so this is something that was confusing a lot of players when it came to the Kudanai event. It's like, okay, so if I want to uh, spend like 50 of my currency to get some gold, will that take away from the accumulated? No, what it is is that it counts how much you overall accumulated in general, right? And then it starts building up, building up, building up, and it's showing you your progress towards the things that you can unlock based off of how much you've accumulated, not based off of how much you spent. So you can accumulate and you can spend all you want. And it's just telling you like the history of how much you've accumulated. Um, so you don't have to worry about like trying to save for anything. Okay. A super event box times five can be exchanged up to 10 times using the star essence. And again, it's just telling you things that you can do uh, throughout this. Now the end of competitive match season 18 and start of season 19, we are distributing rewards that nobody cares about to smashers who participated in season 18 based on their tiers. Special rewards are also available to those who play 20 competitive matches or more regardless of their tiers and regardless of if they care. Uh, play competitive <laughs> matches and claim this season's limited rewards. Uh... In which case, this like i love nui i i love some nui and so i think that this is beautiful artwork i think it's amazing right feature it somewhere else stop giving it for the competitive scene for your players that want to play this game competitively and express themselves as competitive players and showcase their skill this is not the way to reward them this is not the way to entice them Bro, how hard is it for me to be like, oh my goodness, that's gonna be the new one? Let me just screenshot real quick. <laughs> Boop. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Hold on. <laughs> I can't play Smash Legends. I don't like having to be, you know, in a competitive scene. I don't wanna do that. Now, let me just, uh, let me just edit. Let me come here. Let me just scroll over here. Let me just crop real quick and uh, <laughs> crop dying. and save. All right. Awesome. I may not be able to use it in you know the game, but at least I got the picture that I want. Thanks for the picture. <laughs> now what? Listen, I think personally, this would have been a better reward for the Yang Yang thing than um, the star <laughs> like middle finger picture at least people would have tried to log in for that icon oh yeah like, yeah for sure uh, but I, I can't necessarily say the same and oh my god don't get me started on this goddamn golden hook bro please for so god. we have gold skins for all of our og players right that are just have an overabundance amount of gold we need to find some way to entice them to spend their credits that way we can get our og players to spend more money because we can't get money out of them because they already have a whole bunch of stuff from when we converted everything so let's give them as a the community calls it piss yellow skins and try to entice them to spend fifty thousand credits on these skins they don't sparkle at all there's no extra features to them. They don't change the color of your autos. When you swing as Peter, his shit is still green. Yeah. But you can spend 50,000 on it just to try to flex on people. And now there we have are. changes and improvements. Go ahead. What were you going to say? I, I'd get the Kaiser one. I'm telling you right now, shamelessly. <laughs> Bro, that is disgusting. Where is, where is it, dude? Golden Kaiser 100% of the time told me no. No. <laughs> no! You know that's why? Yeah, you know why? We had Golden Kaiser 100% of the time, and that's what we're about to get into. Oh, man. All right, what a good transition. Let's go on and move on over. So, we got the balance update notes. Legend changes, buffs, Alice. Oh my goodness, Alice got a buff? No, the hell she didn't, compared to what they did to her, but whatever. Wukong <laughs> got a buff. Nerf Octavia, adjust Kaiser. I'm breaking my fingers with air quotations. Adjustment, <laughs> adjustment. Okay, so let's 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 buff Alice. Let's give her 100 more damage. 
I mean, 100 more health to her to, to, to her base HP. It's wow, kind of what an amazing buff compared to everything that they've already did to her, which is reducing or no, increasing the skill time to seven seconds from the original five that she had and decreasing the active time on her minds twice, removing big combos that she could do and reducing the size on all of her minds. But OK, we, we're, we're going to buff Alice. 100 we HP. From, we went from the fucking same shit. We were just talking about this the other <laughs> week. How we think, like, mild HP adjustments. Like, this is so non-existent. And comparatively to the Wukong buff we're going to see now, I don't understand. I don't understand. So now, Wukong. We increased Alice by 100. <clears throat> and we increased Wukong by 200. Wu. Uh, we are buffing Wukong's main source of damage so he can perform better as a nimble fighter. Did we not just see in the last patch, we're going to increase Ali so he can perform better as an assassin? Okay, basic attack. Aerial attacks damage increase 200 to 300. Bro, the basic attack increased by 100. This completely removes this buff yeah, that Alice got. Yeah. You are right back in the same boat. What matter does it? What does it matter that she has more health if he does the same exact more damage? You're in the same exact matchup now. That's Except exactly he, what I was trying to get at. Like it literally <laughs> nullifies that entire buff. And literally. Like literally. <laughs> it nullifies it completely. Bro. But he got buffs out of this. In that matchup, he inherently does still have 200 more HP. She doesn't have any more HP than him. So, skill, we are adjusting him so that we, so he will slide off the map less when using his aerial skill. What about when Dawn and when Kaiser and when Kurenai uses air skill and they slide off the map? Where is that fix? Bro, I'm about to hit Where is it? another glitch. Hold up. No, 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 no. I got oh, one <gasps> Big shout out to Monzi, bro. But you need to see. We want to talk about slides off the map, brother. I got a big juicy one for you. Right the fuck here. Watch juicy. me slide in this fucking gif as Kaiser. Oh, yeah. Slide... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're, you're Why is, is this that the one they talking about? Adjusted? Oh, look, bro. It's my <clears> fucking <throat> ulti slide, bro. Oh, look. yeah. Yep. What? How do I not grab ledge? The animation's right there. Mm-hmm. But no, we're helping this motherfucker slide back on the map. God damn it. Why is Wu such a safety net for all these fucking players? Like, Wu has it all. I don't necessarily understand where the pound. Like, I went onto Smashlist.gg. He's not doing bad. Where is this coming from? I, yep. again, where are these cap? I wish that we had a semblance, an idea as to where these balance, like, implements are coming from. Because. Even the community disagrees heavily. Wukong's had a S standing for however freaking long, and we're increasing his damage in general. His entire kit is getting adjusted here, bro. Is yep. there anything that we're missing? Like, nope. We have we have the basic attack, we have the ground skill, and we have the ultimate. I mean, the, well, the air kit? skill. Yep. Like, brother, what? Okay, okay, I gotta calm down. My fault. I'm so, gonna... so. The other thing, it's, it's on the topic of like, even though that gift showcase you sliding off, Alice can do the same shit with her ground auto. Why? What? Bro, they can fall off the map, but we're adjusting Wu. Okay. Hey, <clears throat> excuse me. Bless you. And then, Bless you. thank you. Then we're nerfing Octavio. We are slightly adjusting the ultimate's knockback as it was a bit more powerful than we expected. A bit more powerful than we expected for fucking Octavia. But we just increased Wukong. And we just buffed Ali. What the fuck are you intending? I don't know. I think that knockback made Octavia a contender for pushing people off point. Her solo point clear is non-existent. Bro, if you are solo Octavia with ulti on the platform, when you can originally clear, now you have to somehow figure it out. I don't know. I think this is a dumb change again. This should have been an adjustment, by the way. This mm -hmm. is what I categorize as an adjustment. Yep. Not what the fuck I'm about to do next, but let's go ahead. Roll, roll the fucking tape. I'm ready. Bro, 
What? What are they intending? What is your intentions with the game? What the fuck are you intending, dude? Like, this this shit has me so livid with this game, yo. Like, I expressed in the official server that from reading this patch, it has highly killed a large part of my motivation for playing this shit. I'm still gonna be coming here on Sundays, you know, when we can to produce the podcast for the community, showcasing the art, because as I said, I freaking love the art. The people within the community have nothing to do with the game. And also we just don't have a, a, a Smash Legends source, in which case we don't need to have that. We're like, we, we got this shit here. That's why we're creating it for the people, right? But anywho, this shit is ridiculous. Kaiser's best moments are when he can send an opponent flying with his ground skill. We are reducing. Don't tell us this fucking fluff. No one cares about this shit. You're trying to you're trying to to start it off. No, we are reducing Kaiser's cooldown so that he can do that more often. No, no. You're trying to tell us good stuff. He already had the five. Then you nerfed it to six. So in reality, it isn't Kaiser's best moments are when he can send an opponent flying off of his ground skill. We are reducing Kaiser's cooldown so, so that he can do it more often. We are reverting yep. his cooldown so he can do it more often. We are reverting his cooldown back to what Kaiser originally had. This is no nerf. I mean, this is no buff. If it was a buff, it would be four seconds, if not three. We already had the five, so whatever. Right. Furthermore, the constant super armor dumbed down interaction between Kaiser and other players while making it hard for us to justify buffing his other aspects. Now, this is how I almost damn near could say that they're watching this shit. <laughs> and if you guys are, you need to listen. <laughs> Muscle and I will oh. gladly, gladly talk with all of you mutually for to help you with these adjustments but it's insane that literally two episodes ago or even last episode i think it was two episodes i think it was episode four because it's episode six episode four my man muscle said specifically or not word for word but in general that it kind of dumbs kaiser down because previously you needed that skill and you needed that knowledge to know when to use hyper armor but now that he has it all the time, you don't need that. So what happens? He gets nerfed! <laughs> Dog, what? Oh Bro, my gosh. Did so, I not call this though? Did I not call this? I knew they were gonna <clears throat> revert it. Why? Because I knew what was gonna, I knew a bit of what was gonna happen and people don't have a real idea on how to deal with Kaiser on a regular basis. Even before the patch was like, and, and, it, and it's not even like his fucking rocket science. They just rather do, the Look, I play the game more often than I did beforehand. Not for the other, like other whatever particular reasons, but I wanted to see what the community is bringing. There's so many players now. There's like clans that I've never heard of. But every single one of them addresses Kaiser the same way they would. Bro, they don't fucking try to play around the ulti. They just run Darn. into it. Like, Darn. bro, what do you Listen. expect to do? Listen, yo, the, the, the thing that pisses me off so much, right? Is that I understand that everyone in the community thought that the ult was so oppressive. Yes, it is. He has hyper armor all the time. However, based off of everything that they have done that they wanted to make smash legends a team-based game where the fuck is the team in the game we have nothing but melt melt and melt right oh okay we can't choose this melting legend let's choose the other melting legend there is no actual role in smash legend it's you know how to play choose somebody that can melt somebody or you're fucking throwing you can make other legends work yes however it, it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up to other legends that can melt, right? So something huge with Kaiser constantly having ultimate. Now, granted, the adjustment to where when he was like when he was stunned, he could actually get staggered was great. Right. That was fine, right? I could have done without it, but I didn't mind that that adjustment came because it balanced it more. The reason why I was so lenient on it as to why I'm like, no, 
if Kaiser gets stunned, allow him to continue being a wall because there's so much other broken shit in the game, right? So mm -hmm. if the other things aren't going to be adjusted, leave that be. You shouldn't be worried about trying to adjust Kaiser or trying to nerf Kaiser instead of adjusting all the other stuff and then saying, due to recent rebalances, we are reverting Kaiser to better fit the environment that Smash Legends is now in. But that's not what happened. <laughs> so Kaiser, when he gets stunned, now he can get staggered. That's completely fine, right? Mm -hmm. It makes no sense that finally we had something to actually play around. When Kaiser has ultimate, before he uses it, you need somebody to hard focus him. Do not let him get on point. Force the ultimate out of him. You have to actually know Kaiser has ultimate. Someone needs to focus him and do not let him get on the point. Because if you are 1v1 Kaiser off point, then your other teammates has to win that 2v2 because one of your teammates is handling Kaiser right now because he has ultimate. If he gets on the point, it's damn near game over. And if he gets on the point, then people are going to have to know their rotations. If you're fighting somebody else, and then you see that Kaiser is punishable because he's punching somebody else, go ahead and get a quick skill in, run around, jump around, etc. It made, in my opinion, just like the, the team dynamic so much more heightened because there's nothing like that in Smash Legends. It's just fucking melt, 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 melt. Okay, but to that point, I will say though, one thing that I wish this game would implement more is the fact of team communication. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. If you go into fucking soul queue and you're sitting in fucking champ select, how the fuck am I supposed to communicate to my team what to pick in order to like adjust things? Like there's no way that I can communicate with my team. So when you're in solo queue, I understand that. But if a player doesn't have that agency to deal with Kaiser, that's I think what the problem is with solo queue. Because if we look at the fucking charts now, ranked now has competitive Kaisers. There's Kaisers. Like, here and there. We, I never fucking see the goddamn nope. dude. And maybe he was, like, the third pick on somebody else's, like, main roster. But no, dude. Now Kaiser is, like, back in the fucking picture. But I think the reason why they're doing this reverting is because people have no fucking clue. What you just broke down, it should be common player knowledge. <clears throat> but nobody fucking understands it. And nobody wants to understand Like, everybody in this game, I've seen that fucking league mentality. It's just like, brother... You can't take any sort of advice because you think you know best. If you keep running into a wall and expect a different fucking result, that's the definition of insanity, my guy. And so, again, this entire revert, I saw it coming a mile fucking away. Absolutely knew that was going to happen. That's why I'm not 100% upset. It hurts. It sucks because... For once, I'm not gonna lie, your boy was not struggling. You know what I mean? Like, I was breathing. But at the same time, I understand from the player base that is a casual or maybe don't necessarily want to learn how to deal with it. They're just trying to pat, they're band-aiding. And what they're mm -hmm. doing with that giant jumble of fucking paragraph they have there, they're priming the audience in order for them to be like, hey guys, I, we really want you to understand. It's just like, listen, bro. You don't gotta tell me fucking nothing. And if you're listening right now, <clears throat> guys, compensate for jump skill, please, something. We're back to this shit again. So that's all I'm asking. Oh my gosh, dog. It just makes no fucking sense at all, dude. Like, the fact that he was so oppressive made the game better, right? So many people are like, oh my God, this, he's so <laughs> bro it makes the game better because it heightens people's senses it actually requires you to play the shit it actually requires you to think it adds team incentive but now we're just back to square one without other ali and wukong got buffed but kaiser got completely adjusted adjusted back to normal that makes no fucking sense and then here's the other thing that i thought peep this peep this muscle Okay. Here's what I think about this game is that at this point in time, it's not about balancing. It's not about balancing at all. Not one fucking bit. All of these patch notes is complete dog shit. Reason being, because at this point in time, unfortunately, SL is heavily dying and it could die at any moment. So the only thing left to do is to cater to the players now although a lot of people are fucking you know complaining about like xyz which legends are mostly being played uh, i mean we can 
Okay. So why not continue to fucking feed into it? Because at the end of the day, even though a Kaiser got adjusted and is fucking stupid, even though this Alice buff makes no sense because it completely gets negated by Wukong right here, aerial attacks damage increased by 100, that completely negates that buff right there. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, the players are going to continue playing the same old legends. Did you? That's it. I, have you checked out Smash Legends GG as of late? No. <clears throat> I am getting an error code and it's telling me Smash Legends.gg is no longer available. Maybe it's just me. I'm just saying. Yep, hey, Smash Legends.gg is no longer available. Who took care of that, Dev Alice? Shout out to my homie, wherever you be. Still love for you, bro. God damn. I'm not gonna nice. lie, it's a little sobering. So now that so, website is down. That's a thing. So reading this back, uh, cooldown decreased, reverted back to five. Kaiser's constant super armor effect removed before. Kaiser was will always have super armor when using his ultimate. After, when ultimate is active, Kaiser will have super armor when using all basic and skill attacks. We are back to fucking square one. But guess what? Ali players, Wukong players, you're eating. <laughs> Like you're fucking eating. <laughs> bro, we full fucking goddamn evil, bro. Oh my god. Uh, hey, bro, listen. We always been the struggle squad. You feel me? Ain't nothing new to me no more. I Mace. knew that was too good to be true. I knew it was too good to be true, boys. God damn it. We were there for it, though. Know. Yeah. We experienced I it. Honestly, after two years of playing that motherfucker, I finally had a little bit of like uptime. I'm saying we we experienced it. We we can say that we lived in the timeline where Kaiser always had ultimate. <laughs> yeah. Oh my now, gosh. Space, be that as it may, maybe bogus, but it also supplied us the data that they were referencing to make partial adjustments and or whatever like adjustments like based on matches they thought they had because I think um they were using it partially for duel but that all being because they could tell you what matchups won against what and all this kind of thing even though i kind of disagreed with a couple of them because again the player base can't dictate a good player from a bad one and when it comes down to those uh, the statistics based on the data sheet so that to me was always a fun resource to always check and see player rates especially yeah so <sighs> i i expressed my emotion with you know, all the, all that BS is just, man, this, this patch, this patch really, really hit me. Cause I'm like, personally, I've lost all hope. The only thing that I have left is seeing what they do within these podcasts, because it's, it's just sad, yo. We have so many sources, right? Even, even like taking away from the game. Take the artist, for example. We're showcasing all this amazing ass art. And what does the game do with it? Nothing. Not a damn thing. Fortunately, that is like been a trend for the last couple years. That entire thing has been filled with absolutely talented artists that we could have at least taken some time. Like I even remember seeing the Smash Legends YouTube being a lot more active. Just in yeah, general. It's not and, even active uh, anymore. Like, yo, I used to get excited seeing Hello, all smashers. Here's the next yeah. patch note. Like, bro. Yeah. Even she was like, nah, I'm out. <laughs> I'm saying, so I, I think a big portion of that kind of died down. No shorts, nothing. They're reusing clips from all these kind of like uh, mm -hmm. contests that they had. And even then they use the same clip for most of their ads. So uh, me personally, I think the marketing team crafting this entire merge was an absolute fucking joke. No offense to you guys spending your money in the trash area but hey the proof is in the pudding um i think our player rate on steam numbers is the only one we can kind of track it's been pretty much consistently downward um i think peak was like what 300 <clears throat> players or something like that through steam shout out to the mobile player community that don't get recognition as they should but again we can only keep track of what we know so uh I don't know. The, the signs are all there, guys. Um, unfortunately, I can't really say that we have a timeline. I think that's why they haven't given us a timeline. Because if they yeah. gave us a timeline, they would tell us when they close the servers. So, yep. 
<laughs> I think that is the main reason as to why we are left in the dark as to the current roadmap. Pinocchio, rest in peace. My boy, <laughs> whatever you came out, whatever the dead, I hope somebody leaks it so we can eventually get to see what they had in store. Mm -hmm. But, hey, listen, I think the only thing we have to look forward, boys, is more gold skins. So, get ready. <laughs> My man said more gold skins. I Go mean, like... <laughs> what else we got? Yeah, I don't what fucking know. That's what I'm it's, it's so draining, dude. I'm like... Ah, man. I don't... I don't get it, yo. Like, there's just so many different decisions that the team has made. And I... The other thing is, like, like we're all human. We're all people, dude. Like, it's not fucking hard to make executive decisions. Like, good ones. Right? Putting shit aside and, like, actually... I don't, I don't fucking know. It's just it's just draining at this point, dude. It's so no, draining. absolutely. But uh, unfortunately, um, we know how Korean devs work. Now I'm not sure you're too familiar with Nexon, mm. but this is a lot of the trends that they showed previously. Shout out to my homies that played Maple Story Two, and also shout out to the Wicker Son because he tried to get me on the private server. I never really followed through, but uh, I should have because I absolutely adored the shit out of that game. But uh, yeah, listen, that completely went down nexon will put down a game asap as soon as it's not a cash cow and they will do changes that will deprecate their own game even though they see the audience reaction they hear the masses but they just korean devs are just like we have a mission and if i'm putting down this dog you're watching me and you're sitting here watching me do it oh so, my god <laughs> it's literally what they do they bring this thing to life this project that has so much promise and then they immediately put it down with like whatever decisions they do that are absolutely skewed i don't know uh i think korean devs and now there's a couple games that i have in the horizon um, I don't know if you guys, no, not to plug another game, but Battle Crush is currently on beta. And I'm expecting the same thing to happen. Why? It's under fucking Nexon. So, expect it. Guys, don't get your hopes up for it. I'm excited to play it. I got the beta key, guys. But, how long will it last? Dude. Well, as per usual, everybody here on Twitch, I greatly appreciate you all coming through and watching us live, going through these patch notes, seeing all the art. Everybody over on YouTube, I greatly appreciate the support that you give both myself and muscle and definitely be sure as you see it right there that link definitely be sure to go over to muscle's channel even though this the podcast is streamed on my channel he heavily heavily equally deserves the same amount of love as you all are giving my channel and different things like that so definitely be sure to go over there show him some love follow him and just indulge in muscle right so again thank you all and also shout out to all of the wonderful artists i saw that last episode a lot of you artists ended up going to the comment section tagging where your art was so if you do see your art i highly encourage go to the comment section tag the timestamp in your comment showing where your art was showcased because a lot of you were like oh my goodness i can't believe my art was shown thank you so you are all very welcome muscle and i we are obliged to continue indulging in your art and showcasing it where it should be shown you got any words, man? Uh, listen, man. Again, <clears throat> uh, I just want to really echo what a uh, message saying because, um, frankly, as an artist myself, I do know that um, when I put out something that came from the heart, appreciation is only like I don't need validation outside from anyone necessarily. But like when I get my art appreciated, it brings me joy. And personally, I would love the fact that we are doing the way we're doing it. Because shout out to Metsu again for bringing this portion into it because we didn't have it originally. But big shout out to every single artist that contributes. Guys, you are not unseen. We love you. We appreciate you. Enough said. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.